Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to this week's Commitments of Traders review. Today we're going to have a look at the 23rd COT report of 2013. And of course, as usual, we're going to start off with the changes in commercial positions. Here we go, we're going to start off with oats where we had a 53% change in commercial positions, a 60% change in large speculators position. You can see the change sizes over here being much, much larger than average. Uh, and of course, these are uh, these can be considered bearish signals. Uh, if you look at the chart, you can see prices have rallied. Uh, so if finding a bearish signal uh, may be not that surprising. Let's have a look at the five year chart and see whether we have an extreme in oats. Here we go. You can see that we would have a large extreme. Uh, here we have a, a, a bearish extreme. Uh, that happened in 2011, the beginning of 2011, was a beautiful large COT extreme and marked the end of this rally and since then prices declined. So that was a beautiful rally. We're a bit far from those levels. Of course, we can always talk about relative extremes, uh, but we're, but maybe this isn't the best um, uh, signal that, 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 that we should uh, act on. An opposite extreme, if uh, commercials were above or, or roughly at the zero line, that would be a uh, bullish signal. Of course, we're not there uh, right now. Uh, so it's basically the change uh, signal that may affect prices, if at all. Uh, and we should be uh, waiting for the extreme to widen a bit and, and have a more clear signal before we act. The next market is five year note, 26% change over there in commercials positions. Uh, both large speculators and commercials are net long. You can see small speculators at uh, more than 100,000 contracts in net short level. So they're at pretty extreme territories. Uh, you can see that the last time uh, when large speculators and commercials were both net long, uh, that pretty uh, nicely coincided with a, a relative bottom over here in prices. So we may easily expect this to happen. This in itself is a bullish signal. Let's open the five-year chart and see whether we've got an extreme in this market. Uh, we are actually close to one. Uh, you can see that whenever uh, commercials were above the zero line, that uh, usually coincided with a bottom in prices. So we may see that uh, this, this is a similar case and that prices will... A rally from here. You can see that, as as I told you before, small speculators are pretty extreme about in the market. So uh, both both of our major signals, basically the change and the extreme, are pointing upwards. The next market is Nasdaq. We have a 25% change in uh, commercials positions. We've talked about Nasdaq. Uh, there was a huge extreme in in actually in all indexes uh, in the past couple of weeks, and you can see prices declining. Uh, uh, after getting these uh, signals, let's open the five year chart. I'm going to show you on wider perspective. We had this extreme over here. Actually, it was large speculators uh, who were even more extreme about the market than commercials. And you can see that prices are beautifully declining. So, the question is uh, would they continue or are, is it going to stop and we're going to see the rally continue? Well, of course, nobody can tell. But one thing's for sure we would have a beautiful buy signal if commercials. Uh, reach the zero level or above uh, a zero level being net long, uh, we're definitely not there yet. And of course, the opposite is also true that uh, a really nice sell signal uh, was just uh, a couple um, two weeks ago, I believe. Uh, such such extremes would really signal the end of a rally. So we're, we're in between when we can see that prices are reacting to our last major uh, signal and we may easily uh, expect uh, uh, prices to continue their decline. Okay, let's have a look at large speculator COT extreme. Here we go. Australian dollar, heating oil, all time signals both in commercials and large speculators positions. Let's open Australian dollar first and of course go jump to the five year chart. Uh, of course, I talked about this last week, but I'm going to uh, repeat myself that whenever we see such a large, <clears throat> sorry, COT extreme in uh, an Australian dollar, you can easily expect uh, prices to react. Uh, signals in currencies are usually considered really nice and effective uh, signals. So the fact that we're at an all time level uh, suggests that we may easily see uh, a big chance that uh, prices will rally from here. The next market, heating oil. Of course, uh, again, uh, we, we had this all time for uh, quite some time now. 
Uh, and you can see that prices have started their rally. So the extreme is still uh, wide, it's still there, and prices are rallying. So we may easily see prices continue this rally. See, over here we have this extreme. Uh, the last major extreme was over here, again, beautifully uh, putting an end to this decline. Uh, and of course, we can uh, find some more similar examples uh, when we have an, when we had an extreme in uh, in the market and prices bottomed out. And then we're going to move on to silver, where we have an 828 report extreme in commercial positions, 530 report extreme in large speculators positions. So pretty large extremes uh, in uh, in silver. I'm going to show you the 10 year chart. It's going to be an even more visible uh chart uh, than, than the five year you can see this extreme over here it's huge a very very large extreme in silver uh all major market participants are at their extreme level so of course question is uh what to expect well this is a bullish extreme you can see that prices uh have uh, reacted to these extremes whenever uh they existed and we may easily expect this uh, to happen again prices have declined a lot uh, from 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 the bearish uh, extremes, you can see it over here. We had these extreme levels, uh, uh, basically uh, putting an end to these uh, short rallies. And the fact that prices are declining shouldn't be surprising at all. Uh, but it may easily be that we're getting closer and closer to the end of this decline, and we're going to see prices uh, rallying soon. So uh, that's all for this week. I hope you um, enjoyed my review. Of course, if you would like to have a look at other COT charts, you can do so at our COT charts page. Or if you would like to have a more in-depth and detailed COT analysis, then please check out our subscription service and uh, add other good functions to your table, the long-term trend, volume and open interest scores, the COT index. You can, look at, you can look at market complexes, you can look at new COT report types, other data types. Of course, you can do a more in-depth volume and open interest analysis. Have a look at the highlights page. So a lot of great functions in the subscription service uh, that I hope you're going to check out. So um, thanks for being with me this week. I hope you uh, will join again next week. So have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.